Hi again. Diabetes is common, particularly among older adults. In fact, the latest Centers for Disease Control data shows that one in 10 Americans has diabetes. The disease can affect your vision, so routine retinal screenings are advised. Here with more is Dr. David Buckholz from Primera Blue Cross. Hi. Can I ask you, first of all, to define what diabetes is, and can we have it without knowing it? Uh, yes, you absolutely can have it without knowing it. And in fact, many people have diabetes for a few years before they are first diagnosed. And what it really is is the inability to process sugar in the blood and therefore the sugar levels are high and the sugar causes damage to blood vessels and nerves throughout your body. So you may not know this until maybe some symptoms come up? Right. And it's usually people will first realize that they're peeing a lot, they're drinking a lot. Um, they may not be gaining weight when they thought they should. Um, it depends if you're type 1 diabetes or type 2, but the type that uh, older adults get are, is type 2. It's type 2, which is something you get later in life. Type Typically. 1 is an autoimmune that you're born with, correct? Or get some time, use, usually when you're younger as a kid. Okay. So what happens to your eyes as a result of diabetes? I wouldn't even connect those two, right? And, yeah. and in fact, there is a connection. Yeah, you know, the high levels of sugar and also high blood pressure, which often goes along with diabetes, can start to damage the blood vessels in the back of the eye called the retina. And those blood vessels can start to damage the vision over time. And so really good blood sugar control and really good uh, blood pressure control can prevent it. What people are seeing on the screen right now is a normal retina. You see a big white spot in the center? That's right. the optic nerve. That actually goes to your brain, sends the messages. And you can see some pretty large red blood vessels that go through the retina. That's an absolutely normal retina. This is really progressive, proliferative uh, diabetic retinopathy. You, we do not want people to get there. We're trying to prevent right. that. Those people with uh, retina that looks like that um, already have vision loss. You can kind of see big blood vessels, extra blood vessels, right. oh, black wow. spots, white spots, that's scarring. That means you've lost vision. So at that point, when you have what's on the right side of the screen, you would have some pretty significant vision loss. Is right. there anything you can do about that or you can't? Well, there's some treatments that might help reduce the progression and maybe get some vision back, but we don't want people to ever get there. So that's really the message for today is if you have diabetes or you're first diagnosed with diabetes, get in to see an eye care professional, either an ophthalmologist or an optometrist right. to prevent that. And then they'll probably want to see you annually. If you do have some changes, um, they'll see you more often and start treatment early. And make sure. So yeah. if you go for your annual eye exam, will they look for this? Uh, yes, absolutely. Specifically, if you tell the eye care professional that you have diabetes and that you really need to have your eyes checked completely for diabetes. Well, maybe you don't know you have diabetes. Is this part of the annual checkup? It is if you're getting a full eye exam. If you're just using your vision benefit for the idea of getting glasses or contacts, they may not actually look yeah. at the back of your eye at the retina. Should we ask for it? Yes, you should always ask for it. Okay. Um, Often, because people don't often understand their, di their symptoms of mm -hmm. diabetes before they're diagnosed, um, they often can actually, with the very first eye visit, after they have the diagnosis, they'll already begin to see changes. And also, eye doctors can actually make the diagnosis of diabetes or probable diagnosis of diabetes by just looking at the retina. Wow. Okay, so let's say you see some of those changes. Yes. Then what? Well, then they'll start they'll start treatment. There's two major types of treatment. Um, they use laser therapy mm -hmm. and they start just sort of coagulating they, um, each of the blood vessels that are abnormal that will prevent swelling in the eye and, pre and help prevent blindness. There's also an injection of a medication they can do into the fluid of the eyeball. It's called the vitreous. Oh, um, that sounds both cool. <laughs> It's kind of scary. Yeah. Anything going near your eyes, right? But, um, but they're. You gotta do what you gotta they do. They can help prevent progression. They can help restore vision. But again, getting it diagnosed early is the most important thing. Okay. So there's a new eye care program or one that Primera is involved with that really helps people make sure that they get checked out. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah. Well, I think a lot of times there's barriers getting your eyes exam, not understanding your benefits when you, it's part of your Part B benefits if you're on Medicare you don't have to have a vision benefit. But we're trying to reduce uh, barriers, so we're yeah. really doing a couple things. One thing is we're gonna, with the permission of members, patients, we're gonna be sending eye care professionals to the
their homes and they'll get are you kidding you yeah. can actually send somebody to go do this so like if you have a, yes. a person in your family who's not very mobile or they don't want to do this or can't you can get yeah. that you can right. get that help and they get into the home and they actually just take a, a, a retinal photograph a really high resolution retin, retinal photograph and then the, the ophthalmologist looks at it later and can tell you what you have and what you might need to do next that's amazing now is this the same thing they used to look at when they would dilate the eye instead yes. of using the photographic technique yes you and don't have to do the dilation anymore if you don't want to studies show that the two are probably equally as effective it's always probably to get good to get into an ophthalmologist and have the full exam looking for glaucoma and cataracts and other things but for following getting the photograph actually can uh, reduce the uh, need for the dilation right so treatment for diabetes in general let's say you have this early damage to your eyes you now know you have diabetes what is the next step well, you really, um, in, in diabetes in general, got to keep your blood pressure under control. You see your doctor on a regular basis. If you're under control, it's once every six months. If you're out of control, it's every three months. Uh, it's getting your blood pressure under control. Mm -hmm. Both of those things can contribute to diabetic retinopathy. And so and how do we do that? How do we get blood pressure under control? It, you know, diet, exercise, You're going to tell me exercise, diet and exercise? You doctors are all like with this. We all start the same way. <laughs> diet and exercise, all those behavioral things. But and there we go. And then we have medications as well when that yeah. isn't enough. Yeah. And, and, um, and then, you know, the right medications to keep your blood pressure under control. So you've mentioned how important the screening is, and we'll you know leave that with viewers as something to think about. But the other thing is diabetes can take such a toll on your body in so many different ways. We don't want people to get there. Right. Um, what are some of the other things that can happen if this goes uncontrolled? Diabetes are under control, yeah. out of control. I think one of the most common and unfortunate things is that the blood vessels in the kidneys start to get damaged. And then you start to get into kidney failure, ultimately need dialysis. Um, nerves can um, get involved, especially in your hands and feet. Mm -hmm. And it's not uncommon for people to get numbness in their feet. And then they can get sores, and the sores can get infected. And ultimately, that can lead to amputations. Uh, you get changes to your large blood vessels, like in your heart and your brain, and you're much more likely to have a heart attack or a stroke. Those are all obviously significant consequences right, absolutely. of poor diabetes control. All right. Well, let's encourage everybody to get their screening. And if you have somebody in your family that you're concerned about, you know, maybe help them get to the doctor. Absolutely. In the meantime, thank you so very much. Oh, you're That's welcome. Thank very you. Very interesting. When we come back, we're going to cook up healthy and delicious food for a healthy heart right after this.